Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Dark Pictures Anthologies Presents The Devil in Me. I am your host, Callan Hale. I hope you are all having an amazing day and you're enjoying this series. If you are, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, share with your friends on social media, let them know where they can find us and what we're doing on the channel. We're going to be coming up with some new horror series soon. A few other things are going to be added into the rotation. I'm excited. I hope you are too. As always, grab your favorite beverage, grab your favorite snack, throw in your headphones, turn out the lights, and let's get spooky. When this episode releases, it will be Wednesday the 26th. I'm recording a bunch of these on Monday the 24th, hoping I can wrap this story up and get into some new stuff for the channel. Okay, and we're going to hit continue. Which one was supposed to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job? I'm the one doing the talking, Cameron, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. So you see his mouth? Yeah, I saw it. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because he's... Because he thinks he's just trying to get content in the showreel. What if I was? Charlie does seem to think he owns us. He'll damn control us. Why let him control me? Why else does he need Spike so much? Did you know Aaron has an intelligent boot? He told her that learning from him was its own reward. He's... he's sick. He's still running around town, picking up his laundry, doing his shopping like he can't do anything for himself. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lionel Entertainment. Good for you. That's... that's definitely the right call for the way your career is going. That... Sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up you to be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonick Entertainment. And Lonick Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonick employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Great. As it seems, you have a future, and now I don't. That is a, a level of skeeve. Somehow we all sink to his level. I'm interested to find out more about all that. Hey guys. Any psychiatry reports from Wyatt? Oh, thank you. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumas? Didn't we wait for him? The poor man. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? My bad. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ugh, Mr. Dumas! I love what you've done with your hair. You started on the wine, hope that's all right with Dumas? you. Dumas? Yeah, back your lady bunny. Wait, what, why? 
you saw all this nice things, these beautiful from Miss Lemo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jane? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after he got to our room. He did? Where? You're sure? Tom, you must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. We were in a big-ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lana Tran comes together. What's our next step, Doc? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they delivered. This could work, Diaz, though. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect vision. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason for that. We can move to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Jimenez? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lana, you're brilliant. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he stayed down here. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you... You know, so when our bodies washed up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, girl, God, Jamie. Please stop trying to make this worse. We're not helping. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess he wasn't trying to be serious. Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. Yeah. <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? We're just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true Lon and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Yeah. Well, here's to Topeka no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cost to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our difference, you are the heart of this show. You two can do a job together. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To what? Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, you totally nailed it. Hmm. No way he'd throw all that nice shit if he heard it. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. What was that for? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think it works best if we can really make the background look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Jimet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things will begin in the murder cult. With what light's already in there, we could maybe set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Jimet shows up? If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. 
He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Sukaha. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I love being alive. Didn't take me long at all. Great. 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 That is just creepy. Hello? Guys? Is that you? Use R to interject your microphone to find the source of the noise. Feels like I'm getting closer. There's a controller vibrating. Breaking down walls, navigating maze of anxiety by Professor J.P. Hunter. Professor J.P. Hunter is an author and counselor with over 20 years of experience helping patients overcome their anxiety and panic attacks. Within this book, you will find a step-by-step -step guide designed to give you the tools you need to find a path out of the maze of anxiety. Following a unique monthly plan, you will learn anxiety-busting tips and tricks to incorporate into your busy daily life. Professor J.P. Hunter has helped thousands of people manage their anxieties and given them the confidence they need to break down walls and tackle their demons face on. Breaking Down Walls, Navigating the Maze of Anxiety is a national bestseller. Chapter 5, Breathing Techniques for Emergencies. In earlier chapters, we look at how abdominal breathing can help build resilience against anxiety, practicing set techniques such as Tumo or Pranayama for 20 minutes a day has been shown to build a buffer against stress over time. But sometimes when sudden anxiety or panic attacks set in, you need quicker techniques for the moment. This is what we'll be exploring in this chapter. 
five for five technique. Find a seat that's as comfortable as possible and loosen any restrictive clothing. Breathe in gently through your nose for five seconds. Try to breathe into your stomach, but don't worry if you can't. Breathe out through your mouth for five seconds as if you're blowing out a candle. Repeat this for five minutes until you begin to feel calmer. Some people find it helpful to picture a relaxing environment whilst they breathe. I like to imagine floating through space, discovering new planets far away from Earth. What might your relaxing environment be? Five minutes. Okay, the crying stopped. The execution of H. H. Holmes. happening. Okay. Some things are getting kind of creepy again. Where is my room? That one. Turned around. Murder room.
those that have it sound like magnetic or pneumatic locks on them. This lady looks 10 years younger, but how? The Columbus Spa, bathhouse, manicures, day spa, facials, and more. The European Health Secret, now on Lake Michigan. Staff notice, due to winter, sun pool opening hours have changed. Our new hours, daily, 10 to 5, Thursday, open late at guest request, management. Fiorent Security Corporation, 21 Gord Street, Detroit, Michigan, 48346. Name, Ned Yoke. Address, P.O. Box, 1045, Detroit, Michigan, 48526. Phone, 269-335-3852. Invoice date, 05 041. Quantity 1. Description, digital lock. Installation price, 4560 total labor 4560 tax 274 total 4834 authorization for emergency service i confirm that i have the authority to order the security components itemized above and the supplier is absolved from any and all claims resulting from installation or use of this equipment signature ned yoke hmm. okay it's interesting P.F. Richardson, Will and Life Insurance Specialists. Mr. and Mrs. Mark Edwards, East 3rd Lighthouse, Illegible, Lake Illegible, August 3rd, 2011. Dear Mark and Jennifer, as instructed by you, we have made the requested amendment to your will. A codicil has been added which states that in the event of both of your death, the sole beneficiary of your entire estate is, is Mr. Richard Belknap. We recommend that a copy of this letter is given to your legal representative for the records. Please remember you can view your will or life insurance document at any time by logging into your online account. Jessica Maxwell's handwritten signature, Jessica Maxwell, Senior Administrator. Grand opening November 17th, 2017. Hmm. Great. Janet is maintenance room in the creepy hotel. Enjoy your memorabilia, dude. Ben Kill Erfernalia. Killer Fernalia online auction. 
order number 1741, order date 9-16-2017, credit card paid, dispatch date 9-18-2017. Quantity 1, H.H. Home Authentic Hat. Authentic original hat worn by H.H. Home in famous photographs. Winning bid $24,100.99. Username HHH1896. Oh, wasn't 1896 Katie Cooper General Contactors 2301 South Lake Avenue Milwaukee Wisconsin 53255 March 25th 2017 Dear Mr. Clark Mr. Belknap has requested further renovations to the hotel spa. We're currently negotiating a formal contract and would like the remaining crew to conduct a cost assessment. Mr. Belknap can provide a detailed breakdown of the work he wants. Once your report has been received, we'll arrange for a replacement crew to alleviate you and your team for a period. In the interim, please continue to adhere to the terms stipulated in the non-disclosure agreement and treat this period as an extension of the previous contract. Sincerely, Kelly Schroeder's handwritten signature, Kay Schroeder, Kelly Schroeder, Site Project Administrator. Okay, uh, dear Mr. Bonnet, following our discussion regarding renovating the hotel property for the purpose of converting it into a tourist attraction, we have reviewed your latest design to estimate the construction work necessary. Please find over relief a breakdown of the work as well as the estimate for total cost. The work can commence Tuesday, 13th of January. will take approximately 10 weeks with an estimate end date of Friday, March 24th. Please contact me if you wish to proceed. Kelly Schroeder. That was where their will was. And November 17th. So it wasn't 11 17. Let me examine this again. Seventeen forty one, maybe. Okay, so I already saw that. That's the guest book. Uh, dated? 
getting creative with Slurpee. Mm. Slow pan through lobby, drinking atmosphere, go for three. Series of dissolves between key exhibits, detailing ending on front desk. Ham reaches in the frame, rings the bell, and intros go, this one's utter garbage. I see criticism, I don't see any better suggestions. Tote up to reveal Kate. Kate, does this sound right to you, the camera? The World's Fair Hotel was a hotel like no other. It's always rained red with blood. Its sheets were washed in mother's tears. The price of room came at the cost of your life, and the owner was a liar, a fraud, and quite possibly the most prolific murder in American history. Transpose some imagery over these lines, effects of screams and sobbing. Kate turns away from the desk and exit frames. Cut to Kate on cut to on Kate's slow pull back as she walks through the lobby. Kate continued, as we already seen that bloody ring came to an end. In the Philadelphia courtroom where H.H. H. Holmes was handed the same sentence he afflicted on po so many others, death. And in 1895, his hotel or murder castle, as it became known, was gutted in an act of suspected arson. Before the building itself was torn down in 1938, consigning another part of Holmes' infamy into history, or so it seems. Does, already, does our audience understand consigning? Does our crew understand consigning? Kate stops. Camera continues to pull back, revealing the space around her. Oops. Kate continue. Location TBC. It may look like I've stepped back into those dangerous days of 1893, but I can assure you I am safe and sound in present-day Illinois, where a team of talented production designers have undertaken the most remarkable act of recreation. And a recreation of the famous building where noted entrepreneur... And H.H. H. Holmes expert, Grantham Dumet, has, Kate continued, you can almost hear the desperate screams from the unfortunate guest trapped here, doomed to become home next victim, due to become Holmes' next victims. So without further ado, let's step back in time and see if we can't uncover a few macabre secrets that might still be lingering. Take this extraordinary opportunity to, no, Kate exit frame, screams, I think Aaron can do this, not sure, I want legal in my case if she has an asthma attack. Thirty-six, maybe. No. Zero one eight zero. for 1936. Hmm. I think that's a good spot to wrap this episode, folks. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment. Subscribe, share with your friends, let them know what we're doing over here. I'm really enjoying this game. I hope you are as well. If you are, uh, let me know. If there's another game you'd like me to play, let me know that as well. I have a lot that I can play. I have a huge library. As always, I've been your host, Callan Hale. If you are enjoying this, oh, I already said that. I've been your host, Callan Hale. As always, be kind to yourselves. Be kind to each other. Make sure you hydrate. 
Medicaid if you have to. Eat some food good for you. It might not be the healthiest thing, but if it brings you comfort and it fills your belly, that's good food. And please remember, you are worthy, you are worth it, you are loved. And that little act of kindness might just be like I did the other day, just throwing a quarter into one of those claw machines so somebody else can just put a single quarter in and have a run at it. But I will see you all in the next episode of Dark Pictures Anthologies Presents The Evil Within, or The Evil In Me. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. See you in the next episode.